So I don't know which one of these has more room. The RCM 10 ounce bar box. I guess I can measure it. Or I think the Philharmonic box looks much bigger. Yeah, this is way bigger. So I was gonna see, I don't know how to store my vintage stuff. What do I got here? So I got this uh, thing full of vintage bars. I think this one's full. No, it's not. The full one's somewhere else. So I gotta get some more bars for that. Let's see, what the heck am I gonna do here? I can't even, I don't even know where all my vintage stuff is. Let's see, I got some NTR bars, the uh, These aren't really vintage, but close enough. Got a cool Amark 10 ouncer. Oh, how am I gonna fit all this crap in there? I gotta figure out how to get to it all. So I'm not sure how to do this because I don't wanna have just loose bars rumm rummaging around in there. That'll look kind of weird. What do you guys think? Should I? I mean, then if I put in layers, we got like uh, this Kilo J JM bar, SB. These are the the Royal Canadian Mint uh, Canadian Silver Eagles, old first edition Asahi from. Actually, I could put that in the this this bar box thing. And I got some uh, stackers. I've never really been into the Scottsdale stackers, but Amark stack, 10 ounce stackers. Heck yeah, this is the one with the double, uh, double date stamp. But like things like this, just rolling around in here, I probably need to get a tube or something. Let's see. National Refiners, the Asahi, and all the way the Stagecoach bar was way down here at the end. It fits fine. I should have some more bars to put in there though. Hopefully this is uh, semi-interesting. So I got these ones, these uh, Northwest Territorial Mint Pan American bars. I like these. They're in the factory seals. And all these Johnson Matthews. I guess these can go in there. In the. Uh, I don't know if I should keep them in the plastic or not, because the plastic's probably going to tone them up. What's a good way to do this? I gotta take all this stuff and put it into storage. I think that's all the vintage there. Another Northwest Territorial Mint. Whoops. A Deek bar. That thing's pretty badass. Heart pressed bar, little A mark. This one's too small to fit in the uh, fit in here, so that'll just sit loose. I don't know if this is vintage or not, but this little A mark chunky one ounce thing. It's unique enough that I could put it in there. Then the the Swiss Swiss National Bank Schweizerreicher Bankverein. 
These things are sweet. I really like the uh, 100 gram, especially banking related bars. We got one of these. These are kind of, these aren't too rare. Public National Bank of New York. From Johnson Matthey. So that's not a very organized method there. Let me see if I can find anything else here. Rummaging. All right. Yeah, there's nothing vintage here. I found one. One vintage bar that I sniped from uh, Liberty Bleed Silver when I was in Vegas. And so that, see, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is just rattling around in there. There's not really any rhyme or reason. I guess I could take this foam out, do something with it that way, but who knows? I guess I'll just carefully move it around. And then I've got stuff in here. Got the old five gram Johnson Matthey silver that I really overpaid for. Uh, silver trade unit in a unique shape. What's this stuff? Yeah. We got a Beagle Dog. Bache bar. What the heck mint is that? Justice? Let's see. Uh, we got Thomas Edison. There's a one ounce Deke bar. And EPM. Who is EPM? Something precious metals. Then these ones I really, wait, is this it? No. HCJ refiners. The world trade. The International Universal Trade Unit. 31.1 grams, 480 grains. The First National Bank of Chicago. I like collecting uh, Chicago bars. Actually, why am, don't I just put these in here? I am the most disorganized guy in the world. Let's see. Bam, that's a beautiful one right there. This doesn't fit. Nope. That's why it's not in there. That one kind of does. So this one was too short. Life is too short. So love the one you got. Because you might get run over. You might get shot. Johnson Matthey and the factory seals. Credit Swiss. I always buy, I always buy Credit Swiss stuff whenever I see it. Because when this bank goes under, that'll be super collectible. And that is just barely, barely in there. This one I know won't fit because this is thicker. Who is this? Swiss Bank Corporation. Now that thing is empty. And this was too small.
So there you have it. This can all go into, into storage. But I've got to figure out where the rest of my vintage stuff is and then uh, I guess continue filling this, this box up. And then go get it, or actually go get it and then fill it up. So there you have it. Let me know if there's a better way that you can think of other than getting more of this, this, this uh, foam and then just putting down layers. Then I'll just label this box vintage when it's at the storage location in case my family ever needs to retrieve it upon my demise. But anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I am so far behind that it's crazy. It's good for now. I know it's going to get very slow later. So anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next video.